The renowned pickup truck undergoes a refreshed appearance, improved features, and the integration of 48-volt technology in its latest iteration to compete with the Ford Ranger. In Australia, Toyota has revealed the third consecutive facelift for the eighth-generation Hilux. The best-selling mid-size pickup from Toyota receives a range of styling enhancements, upgraded technological features, and the introduction of 48-volt technology to its 2.8-liter turbo diesel engine. These modifications aim to keep the Hilux competitive against its main rival, the Ford Ranger, which secured the title of Australia's best-selling vehicle last year after a closely contested battle between the two models. While the Japanese and European versions of the 2024 Toyota Hilux closely resemble their predecessors, the Australian model presents a redesigned front. The bumper is more sculpted, featuring a new octagonal grille, revised intakes, and an aluminum-style skid plate. The rest of the body remains unchanged, but the tailgate now comes, equipped with dampers for smoother operation. Depending on the trim level, the grille and bumper showcase different finishes. The entry-level workmate boasts a black honeycomb mesh grille, the SR adds a silver-colored lower bumper finish, and the SR5 features a black upper grille, dark-tinted LEDs, and gloss black accents on various elements. Higher-end variants like the Rogue and the performance-focused GR Sport were not presented in photos but are expected to retain their existing body kits. The standout feature of the 2024 model year is the incorporation of 48V technology into the 2.8-liter four-cylinder turbo diesel, standard in Rogue and SR5 trims, and optional for the 4A4 SR. Unlike other automakers, Toyota avoids using the term hybrid for mild hybrids, reserving it for self-charging and plug-in hybrid setups. This mild hybrid system includes a belt-driven electric motor generator, a small lithium battery, and a DC-DC converter, enabling a stop-start system. Toyota claims that electrification improves fuel economy by 6 to 10 percent depending on the trim, along with reducing noise, vibration, and harshness. The electrified 2.8-liter turbodiesel maintains the same power output of 203 HP, 150 kilowatt, 204 PS, and 500 nm, 369 LBFT of torque. Although Toyota Australia did not provide specific details on the power and torque contribution of the 48V Tech, the EU spec model sees an addition of up to 16 HP, 12 kW, 16 PS, and 65 in nm, 48 LBFT. All mild hybrid grades of the Hilux include the Multi-Terrain Select system, offering six driving modes for various terrains. Other powertrain options in the Hilux range encompass existing non-electrified 2.8-liter and 2.4-liter diesels, as well as a 2.7-liter gasoline motor. Available with manual or automatic transmissions in both 4 port 2 and 4 ho 4 4 configurations. In terms of equipment, all SR graders now feature two front and four rear parking sensors, while those equipped with the 48-volt system gain additional features such as dual-zone automatic climate control, smart entry start, auto power windows, and carpet floor mats. The higher-spec SR5, Rogue, and GR Sport trims are now equipped with a wireless charging pad and two rear USB-C ports. The updated Toyota Hilux is set to hit Australian showrooms in March 2024, with prices starting from AU26,475, U17,277. For the entry-level Hilux Workmate 4 Body 2 single cab model and reaching up to a 74-hour 3 tins, use 48 and 495. For the flagship Hilux GR Sport, 4 Star 4 dual cab version. Notably, the trims benefiting from the 48-volt mild hybrid system are priced between 0591 605 US 385 147, more compared to their non-electrified counterparts from the previous year. As for the possibility of these updates extending to other markets, it remains uncertain given that the current generation of the pickup is in its final years. The 8th Gen Hilux made its debut in 2015 and underwent facelifts in 2017 and 2020 before the 2024 update, 
which is anticipated to be the final one before an all-new generation is expected to arrive in the coming years.